Hello, everybody, and Hello, welcome Eric. back to the judgiest and the merriest place on the internet. My name's Josh. My name is Rick. And my name is Christian. And we are the, the Judgies. Judgies. Back in happier Here than, than ever. ever. Great mood. We're in a great mood, great guys. Mood all I'm not going to lose my shit at all. Josh isn't going to say hey, one you stupid can't th say that word, man. We're That's in the first minute. We've recently been demonetized on one of our YouTube episodes. Really? So we can't yeah. say <gasps> swear words in the first Because we minute. were swearing? I don't know. It didn't tell us. It said there's profanity in the title or thumbnail. And then and I reviewed I manually Day. reviewed it. Like I was like, hey, what? And then they're like, no, it's St. Patty's uh, very St. Patty's Day judgy or whatever you said. It was flagged. So any who we got haters all around us, Rick. That's really annoying. Haters to the left of me, haters to the front. Uh, speaking of haters, we got uh, we got a one star review. <gasps> How dare they? Uh, Mission failed. <laughs> we'll get them next time. So we got a one star review, and uh, if you want to leave a five star review, go on over to apple.co slash the judges. Leave a five star review, and we'll read them sometimes. Sometimes Maybe. we always read them. We just don't always read them on the show, but sometimes we read them on the show. But it really helps us out if you go and leave a review. Where did you send me that comment? I thought I had it. Uh, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. This is one star review. Mm. Womp womp. It's titled Trumpers. <laughs> okay. Let's hear it. In describing some super creepy predatory behavior from an OP, Josh called him, quote, the most sane liberal. And I'm completely done with this. I always got a weird conservative vibe from this crew, but that'll do it for me. They are the white people with mics that we all dread. <laughs> Thanks for confirming you're terrible, so I stop giving you listens. I appreciate you empowering me to be an informed consumer. At least you got one thing At least, from yes. us. We got we got the idea that you need to be an informed consumer. Malinformed. Shit as much as you can on the clock. If you're if you somehow stumble <laughs> back here, <laughs> as much time as you can on the clock. How do you think we're all Trumpers? Because I'm the only Trumper. If I can you... play a trumpet. No, you cannot. Fuck. You called his bluff. I'm going to lose my shit. Wait until he plays his trumper card. Thoughts, Erica? Um, I don't know how we've ever given off that vibe. It's just a single said time. liberal. Yeah, I just said liberal, and that broke their, I assume, liberal brain. <laughs> they were like, what? You were. <laughs> Neo making... libs are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think the story was the guy who was giving rides home to the women. Ah. And I said that was the most sane liberal, very sarcastically. Regardless, I don't understand. I wear an abolish ice shirt. You wear shirts like that, and like I, I hope your abuser dies. Shirts like this. I, if you're getting that vibe, that's a you issue. Touch grass. Oh, okay. for the <laughs> audio only listeners, my shirt today is awesome. And it says "No Country for Old Men," and it's got a very beautiful drawing of a uterus and fallopian tubes and ovaries, and it's all flowery and pretty. Beautiful. And it says, keep your old ass, ugly ass, man having opinions Stanky out ass. my uterus. Smelling a death <laughs> ass, having ass, ass. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, today I went to lunch with a friend, me and Olsen did. And Thanks for the invite. I forget that you work. don't work either. Joshua, we should get lunch sometime. I was playing the album. I might fucking lose it if you guys get lunch without me. <laughs> like, what? why don't we start hanging out? Honestly, I eat lunch with Aurora every day. So, thanks for the invite. Well, I make her lunch every day, and she's normally having some sort of crisis during lunch. So, okay. Well, I that's called being hungry. <laughs> most right. days don't even eat lunch, so you don't eat breakfast or lunch. It depends. All right. Wh how was your lunch with your friend? anyway? <laughs> eating lunch with a friend, and Olson's like really staring hardcore over my shoulder, and I can't like I wasn't paying attention. To like didn't know what he was looking at and i turned around it's fucking golf i was like buddy oh. we don't watch golf that's for old white men come on olsen who's raising this guy yeah. who's raising this guy what the, is your are you are christian are your parents leaving on the masters while he's while he's sleeping with him no they did buy him a green jacket already <laughs> with the money with the money with the money um now we don't just have haters erica oh really we, we also have people who like us and they send us mail at P.O. Box 58, They're Ottawa, so Illinois, 63 Here's one from Flagstaff, Arizona. Whoa! And it's just a little postcard, and it says, Just wanted to say, I appreciate you all and the pod. Heart Aww. Lexi. 
Thanks, Thanks, Lexi. Yeah. If I was there, I would force you to buy me a beer. And we'll do one now more. Now that your card says that you would do that, you're forced to do that. This one's from Elliot. It does look like another wedding invite. I We've... picked up three out of the P.O. Box today, and oh. they all felt like wedding invites. No, this is a high school graduation. I don't want to show that because they that means they're a minor. Hello, judges. Hi. Hope, oh, Hello. God, it's cursive. Fuck. You want me to read it? No, oh, yeah. you think we're some kind of founding fathers? Hello, fuckers. Judges, hopefully my handwriting is legible. I promise I am trying. Uh, they put T-R-Y hyphen went to the next line I-N-G. You can't do cursive and that shit. Yeah, you can. Space your words out better, Elliot. Yeah, I say you just take the loss. If you're getting close to the end of the, that line, you take your loss and you go to the next line and go, there's a weird gap. <laughs> or you just do the like thing where you just write really small yeah. towards the end. I am trying, LOL. I just wanted to uh, send you this graduation announcement and mo move you. Mo love your review podcast episodes. Uh, okay, you're looking at me. It's It's... It's not legible. All right. Give us the cover to block it, though. Oh, my handwriting is legible. This honestly looks like my grandma's. Um, oh, I can actually read this super easy. I think the big word that was just scribbles is announcement. Yeah, see? It's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> All right. Let me, but, give, but, give, let me give it a try. <laughs> Erica can't even start it. Let me give it a try. Anyway... Love, Elliot. <laughs> you just wrote that. <laughs> God. Here we go, The thing guys. is, it's really it's really beautiful penmanship. It just is illegible, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, judges. Hopefully my handwriting is legible. I promise I am trying, LOL. I just wanted to send you this graduation announcement. Yeah, that's what... Your... Podcast episodes? That does not look like podcasts. No. Yeah, it does. Podcast Your episodes have have uh, mu accompanied accompany me when doing doing my homework for, for at least the last six months. So, so I felt relevant. What's this S for? Oh, months. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I love the pod, and you are never. <laughs> Too political. Ricky. Hey, look at that. She skipped right over that. She couldn't read it at all. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. I can't read the rest. It says sorry. I literally can't read it. Like, not even the handwriting. I'm illiterate. Sorry, something and something. That's all right. And we got it. That's we completely just, Thank right. you, Elliot. Very, very wonderful. If you want to send P.O. Box. 58 out of Illinois, 61350. We'll read those things, open up the things, yada, yada, yada. Man, it's going to be hard to fucking make that entertaining. It was entertaining. People are going to love you guys learning how to read together. It felt like there's a lot of silence in there. That wasn't that bad. It was a lot louder on your end <laughs> than it was on my end. But we don't just leave in awkward silences on this podcast. We also podcast on this podcast and what that entails is us going online and finding silly little stories and i'm the one who did that today now we've now. we've got a lot of new listeners we're getting a lot of shitheads in the comments a lot of people saying hey you need to change how you do your show because i want it to be tailored exactly to me so that's what we're doing oh okay. oh yeah this is the most stories we'll ever read and this this is it guys this is going to be the cap and then we're never hitting this again okay so are we about to like speed run this i just got a lot of short ones <laughs> I'll really short ones. All right. This one is from r slash off my chest. <gasps> I love Wait, that one. But is it true off my chest? No. no. Then this one's lying. <laughs> r slash fake off my chest. Wait. <laughs> have we ever had just off my chest versus Probably. true off my chest? No, I'm sure. Probably. My. Whoop, just in case. Whoop. Whoop. Maybe. My. Shut the fuck up, Josh. <laughs> I'm in a mood We're today. Happy. We're, I'm, happy. I'm, I'm We're happy. happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yay. Yay. Okay. My 22 male cat walked in on my girlfriend, 20F, spanking me. Huh. Cat. This really seem, seems like something you needed to get off your chest. This is really embarrassing. 
Just last afternoon, my girlfriend was whacking my ass with a table tennis paddle really hard. Oh. And then my cat came into the room, saw what was going on, and presumably thought my girlfriend was abusing me. She pounced on my girlfriend real quick. Today, Whoa. my girlfriend came over again, and my cat hissed at her really, really loudly. Is there any way to get my cat to become trusting of my girlfriend again? Hmm. That's I guess... really cute that your cat thought you were getting attacked. A little guard cat. A little guard cat. I think the best approach probably is next time your girlfriend comes over, just have her walk in and go piss, 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 piss. Or tried and true. Feed your cat a scrambled egg. Judge your girlfriend. Lifestyle your brand. And then scrambled you're, eggs. you're keeping the cat's balls empty and its stomach full. Oh, it's grandma so early advice. Early. It doesn't have balls. It's a female cat. Did that spec- did it specify? It said she jumped on my girlfriend. I still didn't like it. Uh, Just no. We're getting into the next story, so was, you can't. It was legally, a threat. Get, well, the legally. energy from the couch tonight. <laughs> Something's in the air tonight. No, Is some- Mercury in retrograde? Mars? I'm feeling a little violent. That was sent in to the oh email Lord. from Reddit. By Zachary. From Reddit? Thanks, Zachary. This next one is from... Oh, yeah, yeah. This next one was sent in from listener Kane. Kane. Oh, who we met at the Piss Baby Meetup in up. Chicago. Cuber. Oh, hell yeah. Poop story. Poop story. Hell yeah. Editor. Can you do like a blah, 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 and like flash poop story with like some sirens? Yes. Yeah, that's an oh, easy one. Yeah, that one is actually easy. Hey, judges. Sounds are Hello. easier than visuals. Let me just give oh, you no, that. Oh, no, I want a visual. On... I can do flashing can do text. text. Yeah. Images of moving things, much harder. Animations. Don't ever tell me to turn something gold <laughs> either, okay? Hey, judges. Hello. Hello. It's Kane. Hi, Kane. And Cuber. I... Found a poop story. Not as juicy, but a fun quickie. Or just fucking nasty shit and some light homophobia so Ricky gets too political slash J. Obviously, I love you, Ricky. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even remember which person you were at the meetup now, so. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. There's only like 10. (laughs) Hey, all. Hi. Oh, wait. This is. I'm sorry. Fuck. Am I the asshole for criticizing my roommate's grooming habits harshly? Okay. Mm. Pro. Well. No. Okay. Hey, all. Hello. I, 26 male, currently live in a rented apartment with my roommate, 24 male. Recently, we've been running into some issues because of his grooming. I I occasionally noticed a funk coming off of him, and a few times it got bad enough to ask him to take a shower because it was distracting me and grossing me out. He apologized and said he had a lessened sense of smell, which made him less likely to realize that he needed to take a shower. Okay. Sounded kind of bullshit to me, but he showered, <laughs> so I didn't think anything of it. Oh, well, okay. you have COVID or something? <laughs> Sorry, I just have like a really lessened sense of smell, and I bet I get this really lingering cough, and like I'm finding it really hard to remember things, and I've had this fever I can't kick. Body aches. <laughs> uh. I found this pregnancy test in the bathroom and took it up my nose, and it had two lines. That's not how you do a pregnancy test. That's Josh. how you do a COVID test. No, it's not the same thing, actually. They're not even the same thing, Josh. Right. They don't even look... But in this scenario... They don't even look the same. They do look the same. Right. And in this scenario, this guy is stupid, so he thought, why would I... Are you calling me stupid? I'm going to lose my mind. I ain't calling you for dinner. (laughs) I'm back on your side. (laughs) Our apartment has two full bathrooms in the hallway, and I ordered a bidet for mine. Okay. The other day I was installing it and he happened upon me doing so. He asked what it was for and I explained. He chuckled and said, <laughs> You gay guys are something else. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, you gay guys will do anything. <laughs> Clean your butt? <laughs> Whoa. I laughed and said, Well, it's less invasive than toilet paper and more infective. It's not less invasive than toilet paper. It's not mm. infective either, it's effective and more effective editor it's not invasive though <laughs> toilet paper isn't invasive that's the issue with toilet paper but days they're asking they're asking you for breakfast the next morning that gets in there 
Okay. You got to show your bidet to your parents because it's getting serious. That's how invasive it is. In a good way. It's in a good way. Okay. Have you not used the bidet here yet? No. Oh, my God, Erica. I haven't shit here. That's There's fair. a front setting on it. You don't just, like, use it on your butt for fun? No. You should, not. It does. I'm not even kidding. Okay. It's refreshing. We are days away from installing the bidet at our house, so. And Possible. keep your ears out for maybe a little sponsorship. Okay, 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 okay. Be cool, be cool, be cool. <laughs> it's less invasive than toilet paper and more effective. He laughed and said, yeah, but I don't use that either. Huh? huh? Something clicked in my head. <laughs> and I asked him for clarification. Apparently, he never wipes. He says he thinks it's gross to rub his ass with a piece of paper that doesn't really do anything. He said no straight guy does, and it's not a big deal. I asked what he does if he eats Taco Bell. That's a slander. This is slander. Taco Bell isn't that bad. Or something, and he said he just takes a shower, which has been proven. He doesn't take a shower. I asked what if he's in a public bathroom. He says he waits until he gets home. I then asked if he washes his butt in the shower, and he said that the soap from his back drips down and takes care of it. At this point, I was basically gagging, and I told him he can't sit on any of the furniture I pay for, which is most of it, until he wipes and washes his crusty ass. He got mad and says the only reason I care is because I get fucked in mine, to which I responded that I'm a top. He Not got... that that would matter. <laughs> Not that it matters. <laughs> How... His butt has to be so itchy. Have you ever wiped, like, you're like, ah, oh, I got it, and then you, like, get sweaty or something? It's like, maybe I didn't get it all. And then you get an itchy butt? That was nine. Yeah, same here. <laughs> you got pissy. Chrissy or otherwise? To otherwise. And left after piss. And I haven't seen him since. I called his girlfriend to ask. Oh, God. He got his girlfriend? <laughs> I wonder if it's the same girl. Ooh. No, that was a listener submission. It's possible, but that was a listener submission. Listener, we are referencing a story let us know where if a you're... listener rubbed their had sex and got poop on her thigh after the sex. Listener, let us know if your ex had a poor sense of smell. And apparently a gay roommate. Well, in that story, our listener said that their boyfriend was a, a conservative. And homophobia isn't exclusive to conservative, but... It's really giving conservatism. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Josh is a Trumper. I am a Trumper, huh? Um... He got pissy and left after this, and I haven't seen him since. I called his girlfriend to ask if she has heard from him, and she said he came over, explained the situation, she got grossed out, and he left her place. I feel kind of bad for not viewing this as a he-doesn't-know-the-right-way situation, rather, rather than the more antagonistic term. He's a took. fucking adult? Yeah. He should know how to wash his ass. He's a full-grown 26-year-old man, 24-year-old man. Yeah. If you haven't figured it out by then, you, not even wash his ass, like... Wipe his ass. Wipe his ass is insane. Oh my god. His underwear. The only thing the... I can imagine is No if... wonder he fucking stinks. Yeah. When the only thing I can imagine is like if he takes the hardest little pellet poops. But because like you if you even ta... then. No, yeah, absolutely. But like that's the only way I can imagine it. But even then, that's we've talked about this. This is the the myth of the ghost poop. It's like there's no such thing as a no white poop because you have to wipe at least once yeah. to see that it was a one white poop. There are no white poop, so. And even then, you don't trust that. Yeah. Oh, so you guys do know what it's like to wipe one time too few. Yeah, but we're not gonna say that. Well, yeah, I wasn't gonna either. It's gonna get cut out. Of the internet. Yeah, it's gonna get cut out. Thank you for that, Kane. This is from Cameron, our friend. No, but what was okay. the... Oh, that was Cole Cameron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, a name I read from the book last episode. It's not that name. Uh, here's an absolute doozy of a story. Also, read my Apple podcast review. We don't do that anymore. I left a five-star review, and because I know how much you love it when listeners add read my name in the top instead of the bottom where you don't see it, if... Oh, and then at the very, very bottom, they said read my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sincerely, Cameron. Okay, here we go. R slash true off my chest. Oh, so this one's not lying. No. Okay. But they are wrong. Spoiler. Oh. I am sleeping with my husband's mistress's husband, and it feels like a small win for me every time. I got sent this so many times. Did you? Yeah. I got I'm reading it for a whole other reason. Okay. Oh, Josh has something planned I got here. Something to say. 
contains spoilers for the White Lotus season two. It came out months ago. Fucking watched it if you're going to watch it. Have okay. you watched it? Yes. We just finished it. Yeah. I got thoughts. All right. Oh, this is a tight episode. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I, female 40, just finished watching the White Lotus season two with my husband, male 45, and couldn't help but think about Daphne. Okay. If you're not aware, uh, Daphne is dating someone named Cameron. Whoa, whoa, what the uh, fuck? And not just dating, they're married. I'm sorry, they're married, they have kids, and the whole thing about their characters is they cheat on each other knowingly. One of the kids that she has isn't his, it's with her instructor, her uh, fitness instructor. Supposedly, yeah, it, heavily implied. We're not getting into it. Uh, spoilers, spoilers. I, we already said spoilers. Spoilers. I met my husband 10 years ago. And I have loved him our entire marriage. We have three children together, all under five. I found out a year ago that my husband is sleeping with his colleague, female 30. I can't describe the pain I felt and feel, but you can see it in Daphne's eyes sometimes. I felt ugly, undesirable, and stupid. I got obsessed with the colleague, and I found out who her husband, male 35, was. I actually knew him from mutual friends. I contacted him and told him everything about our spouses. After a week's texting, we both knew without talking about it what we wanted. Revenge sex is the best kind of sex there is. Or maybe this man is just a god. We decided like each other. We decided we liked each other and wanted to continue. We meet at least once a week, and I wish I could see him more, but we both know it is unwise. We decided that since we had each other, it doesn't matter what our spouses did. They're forgiven. I don't want my children to grow up in two homes, and he knows a divorce would be too costly for him. I watched the White Lotus with my husband beside me while smiling inside that I knew what kind of a dirty liar he is. And I am for the matter. And I am for that matter. And I love it. Please spare me the you are as bad, though, because actually I'm not. Mm. <laughs> All right. Obviously, insane story. Yeah. You're a bad person. Your husband is also a bad person. True. I guess slightly worse. But like you're both bad people. Just fucking break up. White Lotus, guys, I hate this don't show. Don't even want to... It's terrible. I don't get it. What's the point of the show? Nothing matters that happens. The only good plot from season two was Tanya's plot. Tanya's plot was very good. That's the only plot yeah. that made sense. No, they all made sense. You just don't know how to consume media. I'm fucking freak out. Okay. Um, Josh notoriously has bad opinions about media. Uh, I do have to go back to the story before we get too far away from it. Yeah. If this guy is so good at sex, I don't think his partner would be cheating on him. Well, maybe they're just more compatible with the other person. You're right. Fuck. Right? It's not like, all physical. Fuck, Josh. I'm a piece of shit. Well, no, it could be. <laughs> no, I'm a piece of shit, Josh. It could even be it. a more physical connection. You know what I mean? Like, everybody kisses, fucks, hugs, loves different ways, and if these two people just happen to be more in sync with the way they want that and the other two people are as well then you know whatever just yeah. fucking break up and accept that though you know what i mean well he can't afford a divorce and she doesn't want her kids to grow up in two separate they houses they don't have to get divorced they could all just fuck and be fine that does seem you like don't the legally have solution. to get divorced because you're not you know what i mean yeah they're clearly no, all okay no, with le fucking no, everybody no <laughs> legally legally and you know in our uh uh society no i was gonna say what's a, what are puritanical society ah fuck society damn we live in a society damn <laughs> in our puritanical society you gotta get divorced if you're fucking other people it's not possible yeah i, I just feel like it's gonna be like our one of our stories last week or whatever week when uh dude found out his wife cheated too yeah. or like they they opened it up to you know they're sw swapping yeah. partners and then we're like well you enjoyed it too much and now i'm offended and i feel like that's how this would this would go and, and that's fine two, that's though. a better that's a better result than what is currently happening which is everybody is getting cheated on yeah <laughs> with no communication no like safe places in, or no safeguards in place but if they don't communicate nobody's feelings can get hurt yeah yeah <laughs> um i just thought it was funny because in the show, Daphne is pretty okay with cheating on her husband, and likewise. Like, I would say that that I wouldn't say that she's okay with it. I think that she has internalized it enough that yeah, 
But like their relationship exists with that as a tenant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they both do it. Yeah. I don't know. It was just funny to me to be like, I can see the pain behind her eyes. And it's like, she's, she knows what's going on. She also, yeah. f- she has a kid by somebody else's. Potentially. No. It, no, I mean, come on. It was, it's, it's on the nose because they it go, oh, here's be. my picture of my trainer. He has blonde hair. Her husband has uh, brown hair. And then she goes, she was to show a picture of it to Aubrey Plaza. And Aubrey Plaza says, oh, that's a picture of a kid. And it was a kid with blonde hair, her kid. It's like, well, it's very implied that she was trying to let her know that her husband's son isn't his actual son, his biological son. Anyway, um,. Look, guys, this isn't a little update. Not it. Look, guys, thank you for caring. Asking me to update when all this quote blows up in my face. How considerate of you. I guess if it all blows up in my face and my husband leaves me, my boyfriend and I can finally pursue a relationship together. No worries there. So the person just sucks as well. Yeah. Just break up. You don't have to wait to get caught. All right. We're done with that one. Thank you, Cameron, uh, for the listener submission of a Reddit story. The next one. It's from Knox. Off submitter, Knox. Off submitter. This one's a little bit longer. Then we'll hit a break. What the fuck is off to me? Am I the asshole? Probably. What does off to mean? <laughs> Am I the asshole for telling my roommate's boyfriend she's sleeping with his dad? We got a theme this episode, huh? Yeah. I didn't mean to. I just tried to pick good stories. Am I the asshole for telling my roommate's boyfriend that she's sleeping with his dad? Yeah. That my roommate is sleeping with her boyfriend's dad. Okay. Oh. My roommate, Ava, female 24, and her boyfriend, male 25, have been together for about two years. She worked for his father, not anymore, and he introduced them. I don't know the whole story. Her boyfriend's a sweet guy and gets along great with our friend group very well. Him and my boyfriend are also best friends, and this makes my issue ten times harder. Ava and I aren't the best of friends, but being roommates, we're pretty close. It's just us two sometimes on drunk nights, and we'll sit there and laugh all night about the dumbest shit. One night, Ava came home drunk out of her life and saying she doesn't know why she hasn't tried older men yet. I laughed it off and tried to send her to bed because I thought she was just joking. She ended up getting into my bed and showing me her phone. She starts showing me pictures of this man's dad. I almost threw up. I I feel like implied naked pictures. Must be. Heavily the, implied. He's just a really <laughs> gross old man. I, I don't know why I haven't tried old men with blonde hair. And then it's just a, a dick with a toupee on it that's blonde. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> she then goes on about him being her boyfriend's dad and to not tell him. The next morning, she still remembers the night and starts crying, telling me to not tell anyone and that she'll figure it out. I asked how long, and she says it's been two months. Ooh. A few nights later, I come home from work to this man and her in our apartment. Our apartment's tiny, so she heard the door open and ran out of the room. I asked if her boyfriend was there, and she looked at me laughing, saying it was the dad. I told her she was disgusting, and I wanted him out, and then I left. He ends up leaving, and she texts me to come back to talk. She told her not to tell her boyfriend or mine, or she'd be pissed, and that it's not my place to tell her. To tell them. Poorly written. She said she needed time to get the right words to say, and that she'll tell him when she's ready. We usually hang out often with her boyfriend, so it's been difficult not saying anything. Most recently, I come home to Ava and a couple of her friends drinking and talking about the dad. They're all talking like what she's doing should be idolized. I didn't engage, but I was in the kitchen when I heard her say she's he's coming over again tonight. And saying that she's telling everybody. Yeah. You're asking to get caught at that point. Yeah. I yelled, not in this house. Oh, that turned me. into an argument and her calling me a bitch, saying it's her place too. She says it's her relationship and to not get involved. I told her I'd give her one day to tell her boyfriend or I'd do it myself. The next day, she thought I was joking, and I see her leave with a bag packed getting into the dad's car. I was fed up by this point and go to my boyfriend's house, drowning in tears, telling him about what she's been doing. He was beyond pissed. That's a vegan version of pissed. And told me (laughs) he'll tell him. I get a text saying her boyfriend came over, and he told him everything, and he was broken into tears. Oh, I can't even imagine. No. I was going to say, could you imagine, but clearly you couldn't. No, I couldn't. (sighs) I mean, the triangle of, like... And the person writing the story, like the, a, a friend and your roommate, and then the dad is just 
the worst triangle yeah. to have. Everybody's getting fucked. Well, negatively, not sexually. She came back the next morning screaming at me, saying I was a bitch who had nothing better to do than involve myself in other people's shit. She said, I'm just bitter because, quote, she can satisfy two men while I can barely handle one. I left and I'm staying with my boyfriend for now and I'm getting messages from all of her friends saying I'm an asshole and that she's going through so much right now and what I shouldn't have fuck? added to her stress. It's finals week. Wait until after finals week. Am I the asshole in this situation? Slash, should I let her tell him? No, fuck them. You gave her the opportunity to tell him. Also, for her to be like, it's not your place. And it's like, it's just my boyfriend's best friend. Um, AKA also a friend of mine. A friend of mine. It's, I don't think this qualifies as a not your place thing. It involves multiple people in your life. Well, and clearly yeah. she was never going to tell him. Yeah. She was going to let it happen. Until Eventually it something, up. yeah, it was something that's going to blow up. Somebody's going to find out. And then somebody found out and something blew up. So, sorry, Ava. Or, yeah, sorry, Ava. I I don't know. That's so crazy. And just, like, for her to be like, I can't believe you would do this. And it's like, I, I can't believe you, you would do this. I told you I was going to do it. Yeah. I mean, this the person who wrote the story is not in the wrong at all. Like, yeah. you could argue that you should have told him immediately. But I think it's a pretty understandable thing to be like, you need to tell yes. him this is not my and I'll give you a little bit of time. And then that time passed and she luckily she had her boyfriend there to help yeah. console and everything. But Woo God. And how do, I don't know how all of her friends are just like, no, this is cool. This is awesome for her. Yeah, no. Ad break. Point. And we're back from this side of the ad break. Did you buy the stuff from the ads? Maybe. Use offer code Judgies at checkout, or maybe it's like Judgies 60, Judgies 50, Judgies 20. Who knows? Something with Judgies in it. But what I know is that on this side of the podcast, we normally open up with a little thing called... Ba -da -ba 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 circle jerk. And that's where we judge around this circle, circle, baby. And it's wonderful. It's Agreed? wonderful. I... We're not doing it this episode. Oh. Just kidding! We'll We're doing a listener submitted circle jerk. Ooh. That's right. We, we tried our hand out at this the other week. Yeah, it was fun. Um, this one's a little bit more interesting. This is from John. I thought the last one was pretty so interesting. I. I don't really like the energy coming from the chair today. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. was my impression of Christian. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm John. Sup. You could say my name. I don't care. That's kind Dude, of badass. John sounds so <laughs> rad. I know y'all are based out of Illinois, so you probably have no idea what a hurricane is. But I live in Florida, and so I know them. I mean, we did have that one inland hurricane in, what, like, 2010? Uh, I mean, I think technically we had one more recently than that. Did no, we? that was a derecho. That is an inland hurricane. Oh. Why don't they call them different things? The list of hurricane names for this upcoming hurricane season was just released. I would love for y'all to react and judge the names. Oh some my good god, ones. they just dropped new hurricane new names? New hurricane names just fucking dropped, baby. This is such a fun idea. I like it. Stay healthy, stay sexy, especially you, Christian. Me Yay! Do I got sweatpants? No. Yay! Yeah! Oh, everything's coming up crispy tonight. <laughs> All right, this is 2023 hurricane season names. We're just Did gonna you put go. Deodorant? I use native deodorant. You could go get yourself a stick over at. This is ad. For... Hey, bud. Are you sure? Because I don't think I could. Ad free episode. <laughs> Here Did we I go. Put on deodorant. <laughs> uh, I probably didn't. I haven't re-upped since this morning before going to work. Christian's a sweaty boy. I Christian sweat a lot! A sweaty boy. Only from the pits. And the shits. <laughs> okay. Uh, alphabetical order, we think? Yeah. Whatever oh. order it's in is fine. A is Arlene. Hey, y'all, I'm just Hurricane Arlene. All right. it. That's pretty good. Arlene's all right. Because right. you know the, the, first, the first hurricane isn't the best one. Yeah. And so it's just like a nice little, like, oh, it's Aunt test, Arlene's coming it's a test in. run. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> yeah. So that'd be Brett. 
Oh. Brett, Hurricane Brett. Brett Hurricane Brett's <laughs> going to give me a fucking wedgie as it goes by. <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling Brett. Hurricane Cindy. I'm not threatened by Hurricane Cindy. Yeah, yeah. me neither. I'm sheltering in place with Hurricane Cindy. <laughs> yeah. Now, Hurricane Don, I'm getting the fuck out of Donge. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> staying in Florida. Hurricane Emily. That one's cute. That one has little, just like uh, just Lisa Frank tails. stickers. Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane Franklin. Okay. Slow one. Oh, yeah. slow. old slow turtle of a hurricane. Did you know he actually had <laughs> polio? The turtle? No, FDR. I was thinking of Franklin the turtle. Yeah, and we were thinking of Franklin, Franklin Delano. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah. yeah. Old, slow. How about Hurricane yeah. Gert? Gert? That one's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, Hurricane Gert's Gert. going to hurt. G-E-R-T? Yeah. Like short for Gertrude? <laughs> sure. I like, can just see like hashtag girthened. Gertie. Yeah. Gert's going to be the one that's like it ruined lives. <laughs> Gert's going to... Yeah. It's going to be like a freak once in a lifetime. You know, these happen let's every year now. Let's hope we but don't get to Gert, though. I feel like... Once okay, well, let's think of like the worst hurricanes. Like There's like Katrina, Sandy. I feel like they're like normally mid to late alphabet. Yeah, I was going to say so the Gert, earlier ones yeah. are always like, oh, they're doing weird stuff early spring. And then it's Isaac? like the late ones are like, this one's a freak one and it's going to go all the way up to Greenland. Was Isaac the one last year? Maybe. Sounds I, right. I actually we didn't have any hurricanes last year. Yeah, not if I remember. Either. Hurricane Harold. Eh. That one could take it or leave it. Hurricane Adalia. That's an interesting name. Yeah. Or Italia, maybe? It's I like was... Italia. Hmm. I have nothing. I don't to know say about how to pronounce it. Hurricane Jose. Okay. okay. Nice alliteration. It's actually not alliteration, it's a different word because it's a simile? Assimilation? No. It's about the sounds. No. I'll assimilate. Hurricane Ho, but I, whatever. I'll nerds. Assimilate. Language. We have a lot of language arts assimilate nerds. Assimilate is like or as. No, no, it's not assimilate. It's it's like not. It's like a homophone. It's not a homophone. It's not alliteration. It's a. Two words. A shitteration. Two. Oh, do, they rhyme. Do, just type alliteration, but for sound. Sound. Alliteration the... for sound. That's all you need to type in. Same, but uh, nope. Alliteration. It's called, no, they're called rhymes. Bad. I'll just do it. I'm on my phone. They're called front of the word rhymes. <laughs> it's a homophone. You are right. No, you're googling the wrong thing. Homophones when two words are spelt different but sound the same. Homophones are words pronounced alike but different in meaning or de deviated. That's like there, there, and there. Fuck! I was wrong the whole time. Repeated, repeated consonant sounds at the beginning of words is called alliteration. Repeated consonant sounds in the middle or at the ends of words, it's called rhymes. Oh, no. <laughs> alliteration again. Repetition of vowel sounds is called assonance. Well, that's asinine. So that's what I was thinking of. The fact that there's a difference between vowels and consonants at the beginning of words. This is all cut. It's not getting cut. Hurricane Katia? Katia? K-A-T-I-A. Katia. Hurricane Katia. That's sexy. Yeah. Hurricane Katia is... Ooh, are we going to Hurricane Maurice, too? What's Katia Maurice? It's from a little documentary we watched last night. Oh. Literally already forgot about that. That was cute, though. Hurricane Lee. Mm. Hurricane Margo. Or Margot, the fell okay. woman from Elden Ring. Huge Elden Ring fan, the Hurricane Namers. Hurricane Nigel. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> What the fuck was that supposed Nigel to be? Nigel Thornberry. Nigel Thornberry. It's a horrible That impression. sounded just like Hurricane no, Ophelia. Hurricane Ophelia. Hurricane Ophelia? That sounds like... That it sounds a, like a disease. <laughs> oh, I, I'm so scared of hurricanes. I got Hurricane Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a phobia. Ophelia is... I love, love hurricanes. <laughs> I, I want to fuck hurricane. this hurricane. <laughs> hurricane Felipe. Okay. Hurricane Rena. <laughs> Could have been better. Yeah. Would it be Rena? R I N A? Oh, Rena. Yeah. Hurricane Sean, but spelt the bad way. Okay, S H? Wait. S E A N. Or S E A N. S -E -A -N. That's the Hurricane Sheen. Hurricane Tammy. Ew. That one's going to complain. That one's only going to be annoying at whenever you have to see your in laws. <laughs> Thanksgiving, <laughs> Christmas. Depends on if it's Tammy 2 or Tammy, Tammy one. 1. That's true. That's very true. Hurricane Vince. 
Okay, that one's kind of a cool hurricane. And then Hurricane Whitney. They only go to W? I mean, I don't think they make it to the end very much. But, you know, think try to think of an X and a Y name off the Xavier, top. Xavier. Yolanda. Fuck. And they Zeke. do alternate gendered names for whatever fucking reason. So you were you nailed it. Yeah. So it's whatever, I guess. Oh well thank you, John, for Next that. Next year should be a year of all non binary names for hurricanes. I it's mean, gonna can be they like, technically all already be non-binary? It's going to be like That's Hurricane true. Faye, Hurricane Zap. Bro. Her- yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I was just trying to be inclusive. That is very nice of you. Were you going for non-binary or were you going for um, gender, like, gender like androgynous? Androgynous, mm. gender neutral. So, like, Sue, Sam, Sam, Hurricane Sam, Hurricane Taylor. Hurricane Ash. Yeah. There you go. There's three of them. I already did half the fucking work for you, Florida. Half the work? You only did three out of 26. <laughs> well, they don't do 26. They only you do 24. Oh, <laughs> and what's no, in between No, they two don't and four? do 24 because they stopped at W. So it's 23. And me. And her. <laughs> Fuck. Hurricane Jack. Short for Jack and Jacqueline. Jackson, Jackson. More like Hurricane Jack, short for Jackass. Got his ass. Editor, edit in the entire Jackass 4 movie. <laughs> <laughs> Editor, put it in <laughs> tiny, tiny in the corner. Editor, put in the clip of, of Wee Man shocking his hand on Family Feud I saw on TikTok the other day. It was very funny. I don't know how I just threw that to you, but that was now the second best throw I've ever done to you. All right. We're uh, getting a little off off track here. So, again, this is the most stories you've ever read, but we also have to go into a listener submitted story, which we preface. You can still get pregnant from preface, preface. Yeah. with a listener submitted sound. And this one. I don't like preface. Neither do I. I hate it. I hate it as soon as I said it. Yeah, that was bad. This one is from Riley, though. And this will get us back on track. You can count on that. This is for Christian. Yay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Kiss. Very nice. Editor. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Thank you, Riley. Hello. You can say my name if you'd like. Wonderful. I go by Lee. Fuck. <laughs> say it at the top! <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, they. I've been listening for over a year now and recently got my mom to start listening as well. She <gasps> boos and whoops everything now. It's wonderful. You don't boo and whoop everything. Well, you oh, do I get do. to whoop everything on the first time, and you can boo whatever the frick you want, Mom. Also, extra thing. One day I wondered what dogs and cats, why dogs and cats yawn with their tongues out. Then I tried it. I understand now. I can't stop. Also, from I, I'm from Idaho. That was implied because you said that weird Yo. shit. How many listeners just yawned? You have to leave a review if you just yawned. Uh, Ew. Erica, I don't like editor, it with the tongue out. Editor, <laughs> Ew. you cannot, you like cannot let that image exist online. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't like it. Well, you made me yawn because we were talking about it. Okay. Oh, no. If you yawn the now, if you yawn, you have to subscribe to our Patreon for $1 a month. It gets you <laughs> ad-free videos. And Christian will leave my yawn face in. Um... I, I need to talk about Idaho real quick because they're, they're really pissing like me Idaho. off. Well, before, <laughs> let me just finish this. I can't stop yawning. I'm from Idaho. We call ourselves Idahoans. Don't worry. I plan on moving soon. Okay, go. Oh, good. More like Idaho's. <laughs> What's your thoughts on Idaho? It's a beautiful fucking state. Very underrated geographically. However. But. They're doing some real shitty things politically like they're trying to do a ubi and like allow safe access to abortion and like legalize marijuana oh the opposite okay this one uh representative tried to pass a bill that was um providing menstrual care products like Mm. free menstrual products which is great which is wonderful should be done and literal women representatives we're like, no, that's on parents to provide. Yeah. It was wild. Isn't that wonderful? 
Isn't that amazing that I, that's the country we live in? Didn't the, are you fucking kidding me? One of them was like, oh, what's next? We're going to offer them deodorant? And it's like, uh, yeah, that should, would be great. It? Yes. If a kid needs it, yeah, It's probably. literally hygiene. <laughs> yeah. How do you not think people need access, safe and affordable access to hygiene? Especially children. Yes. Like, there's so many, so many families, especially in Idaho, is not a very rich state. Well, it's rich in potatoes. That's an Idahoan accent. Well, it was awful. That's an Idahoan. And then they were also trying say. to, they were also trying to, um, like, what was it? Deny access for transgender uh, that's everywhere now. care or something like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Grinder, I mean, it's fucking corporate PR, so who fucking whatever. But <laughs> Grinder, uh, Florida's passing some horrible anti LGBTQ bill or trying to or something. And Grinder was like, hey, if you do that, we're going to dox every single Republican politician in I Florida who's really ever used Grinder. Do. <laughs> I would That's love incredible. that so much. <laughs> Which is like, yeah, it's corporate PR or whatever, but that would be amazing if they actually. Oh do my that. God. I hope they do. I wish. <sighs> Fuck. For. <laughs> You French fuckers, you make me so jealous. I wish we could just have the fucking guts you guys do. <laughs> it's not even, I, I truly, and I think I've said this before, it's, I think geographically we're too large to do something like that. Yeah. Right, yeah. If all we had to do was drive to Chicago to protest for the whole nation, right? then I think a lot, of, we would be able to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, you saw it with, like, the uh, BLM with, like, George Floyd and yeah. and everybody, like, um, so many state capitals like major cities had that happen and then yeah like collectively nothing Came really changed it. yeah police budgets actually went up in a lot of states yeah so like yeah unfortunately that form of act um well, while important mm -hmm. and should be done unfortunately it's not in incredibly effective which yeah, fucking just, sucks i just think that our our nation's not good well yes <laughs> good. It sucks. we're not set up like smaller european countries where some would say intentionally <gasps> to prevent people from actually making progressive change in the world weird hmm. our government would never no at the behest of capital owners never but they work really hard Josh. they do they take all the risk here we go this one just popped up took screenshots in case it got deleted would love to hear y'all's opinions feel for, it's it's hard, it's hard sometimes to, to parse out if we're getting a y'all I should say, you would think it would be hard to parse out if we're getting a y'all to be gender inclusive or if it's a y'all because they're from the South, but it's way easier than you thought. When John hit me with the y'all, I was like, that's a Southern person. <laughs> I do have to ask, um, is it a y'all, Y-A-L-L, -L, or a Y apostrophe A-L-L? -L? Apostrophe A-L-L -L on this Okay. One. And John was no or, apostrophe? They were both apostrophe. Or is it Y-A apostrophe L-L? -L? Yeah. All? Yeah, all. It's you all. It's you all. I understand that, but a lot of Southerners will say ya instead of you. Any whom. Oh, what? Are they fucking dumb uh, down the <laughs> south? Yeah. You said it. <laughs> they don't have very good education funding. Much like Christian didn't in his city of Rocktown on twitch.tv slash You shut pod. your fucking mouth. I had my shit boosted all the way up. All right, here we go. Would love to hear y'all's opinions. Feel free to read my name on the pod. Get it up on the top. Love, Alex She Here. Here we go. Am I the asshole? This is from Reddit. Am I the asshole for standing by the door while waiting for him to finish? To <clears throat> finish what? <laughs> <laughs> Am I the asshole for standing by the door while waiting for him to finish talking? Hmm. I just broke up with my boyfriend, and I didn't mean to. Okay. Hmm. I'm a 32-year-old woman with a good job and her own house. I'm the only child and was raised spoiled. My boyfriend knows that. I always get what I want and when I want it. And no one has ever seemed to have a problem with it because I'm charming. People like me. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> I do. I, f I feel this on so many levels, but I don't think you get to openly say this about yourself. You got to secretly think this about yourself. You can be charming and get your way. You just can't admit it. Yeah. Then you, you go, seem like an what? asshole. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> when, we, when the three of us try to make a a decision we're all just like no but i would love to do this but if you want to do that and we're all just the cutest you should see it <laughs> we were at our friend's house the other day and i wanted to go home we had been there for two hours and i was getting sleepy I told my boyfriend that i would only spend two hours there because i didn't feel like going to begin with 
shouldn't have went. He said we had a deal. So I was surprised when he said he wanted to be there a little longer. They were talking about sports, and I didn't care. I just wanted to go home. Every once in a while, I would suggest we leave, and they would keep talking. I even got up to stand by the door with my stuff and with my boyfriend, and my boyfriend turned his back on me and kept talking. We were there for another hour and a half, and they were just talking. When we got into the care, idiot. Don't even know how to spell. When we got into the car. She has her way, Josh. You don't correct her on that <laughs> shit. She's a single. She's an only child. <laughs> I got a 97 in English, even though I couldn't write. I was so charming. When we got into care, <laughs> when we got into the car, it, I was so over it that I couldn't talk to him. I was, on the drive home, he told me that I embarrassed him because I was acting like a child and that he was trying to have a conversation. I told him we had a deal and he did not follow through. I had the right to be upset. He didn't yell at me, but he did snap and said that he hadn't seen his friend in almost two years in person because he was overseas and that they were catching up. This is pretty wild now to be like, you have to leave. Uh, he said he did say sorry for making me stay longer, but he said I was a spoiled brat and not everything needs to go my way. I told him that he knew what I was like before he started dating me and we should break up if he didn't like it. I was joking, but he agreed. He dropped me off at my house and drove off, not even waiting for me to go inside. It's been almost a day, and he hasn't texted or called me back. His mother told me to give him some time, and his sister told me it was true and that I need to learn to tr treat people better. I didn't want to break up. I, I was running at the mouth. What should I do? Be a better person. <laughs> I, was this a listener submission? No, no. no. It was oh, thank God. I was like, ooh, we're about to roast this person. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You're fucking crazy. I forgot to do a listener's... No, wait. Did I do a listener's submission? Not yet. We played Fuck. the sound and then we didn't do it. I'm sorry. I did it out of order. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was not a listener's submission. That was a Reddit story. I was like, damn. We're about <laughs> I'm about to go in on this person. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking 32-year-old woman. Yeah. yeah. Stop acting like you run the fucking world. Although girls do run the world, canonically. Who run the world? Girls. Girls. But you I mean, don't... I, you... I don't really feel like that's accurate, but... But you don't act like that. No. Yeah. It makes you look fucking like a loser. It also, like, dude, for her to be like, I was just joking about breaking up. And it's like, it's kind of not should, how it you works. You should never fucking say that. You, never. Gave, you gave an ultimatum. Yeah. yeah. You were like, if you don't like me, then break up. And he's like, I don't like you. I'm breaking up. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then also, like, unfortunately, like, this situation, it's like, oh, no. This one, this is, kind of, it sounds like one of those stories where it's like, all the pieces finally lined up. Yes. And it's like. You know what? No, you're right. I don't want to go out with you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely don't get the full story, but you can sort of read through the lines and be like, oh, good for that, dude. Somebody who has hasn't seen their friend because they were overseas for two years. Like, let them yeah. fucking do a, a Midwest Irish goodbye, whatever you want to call it, and fucking stand at the door for an hour and a half yeah. and talk. Or even at that point, like, if you didn't want to go, don't go. Yeah. Like, you should have you should. I feel like you should just be able to understand, like, oh, they haven't seen each other in forever. Mm -hmm. It's gonna. They're gonna want to hang out, like, it's, and talk about sports. Barf. Uh, he's he was overseas. They don't even have sports overseas. That's why they had to talk so long about sports. She had to catch him up over the last two years of sports. Did you see the football game? <laughs> Which one? Oh boy, oh. we got a whole season to go through. <laughs> two hundred and fifty-six regular season games. No, it's more now because the seventeenth week. I can't do the math. Oh my god, they did it the seventeenth week. Two hundred and seventy. Sixteen times seventeen or something, right? Hello, judges. Hello. Hello. Now this is a listener submitted story okay. proper. Am I the asshole for stabbing myself at work? My boss asked me to do a little bit extra work and I said I'm gonna <laughs> Editor. Can you bleep that? Editor. Yep. Yeah, dude. Editor. <laughs> it's already been bleeped. I'm Say a it one more time. <laughs> Fucking dare you. I'm a longtime listener and a patron who calls you, who loves hey. you all equally. Boo, pick a favorite. <laughs> As you're actually like, you don't have to tell us who your favorite is. It doesn't make any of us feel better. I don't have a favorite. Choose one, you coward. <laughs> I'm sorry this story became a Bible, but we it can all be but it can be on Oops All Bibles 2.0. It's the shortest story I've ever seen. <laughs> it's not that short, but I mean it's like three sentences. It's a reasonable length of a story. Oh. 
Uh, come on, Emily. This story happened in the summer of 2020. I was stuck at home and needed some money, so I started working at my high school job again. I was working in the kitchen, and business was slow. At the end of the night, we needed to start wrapping food, so I went to wrap. (laughs) But alas, the saran wrap was all messed up. The only solution I could come up with was using a knife to get the wrap even again. I grabbed a small, rusty knife. (laughs) Why do you have a small, rusty knife in a restaurant? It's a school, not a restaurant. No, it was a high school job working at a restaurant. You fool. I don't even know how to listen. You were too busy rapping. I could have told you that. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. It, w- it was putting up quite a fight, and that's when it happened. The knife entered my hand. The only thing I could say was, oh, fuck, I just stabbed myself. <laughs> I mean, that's, <laughs> it seems like an appropriate thing to appropriate say. Appropriate response. Yeah. yeah, that's what I say anytime it's, I'm... Oh, fuck, I say it myself. <laughs> it's better than saying, like, yay, Skittles, because it's like, what, no one's going to know what's going on. I mean, yes, I do have to, on a technicality, a technicality I do have to get, give it to you, yes. Yeah, you have to give it to me, yeah. Yeah, but I hated it. Yeah. Well, I'm, that's the point. I'm the heel. Uh, I stab myself. <laughs> I'm going to stab myself at work with a rusty knife. Why do they, you know, you're right, Josh. Why do they have a rusty knife at a restaurant? We'll yeah. call the health department after this episode concludes, okay? Keep going. Not thinking, I pulled the knife out and head to the sink in the back. It's the oh. worst thing you can do with a stab wound. I left wow, a trip. deep of a stab wound? I think if it's a shallow stab wound, then you're fine to pull it out. But no, if it's a... you should leave it in. If you, can, if you can immobilize the piece. People were yelling about spoilers for Last of Us show when Pedro Pascal's character, Joel, got yeah. stabbed. And yeah. They pulled it out. Yeah. And people were like, you're supposed to leave it. It's like, that fucker's about to ride on a horseback. You don't want to leave a jagged piece of wood in your internal organs while you're doing this. That's not good. It's going to cause more damage. Thoughts? Hey, you're the Boy Scout. I'm the Boy Scout. Eagle Scout. I'm sorry. Erica doesn't agree with me. I'm the Eagle Scout. You are say it. Indeed, Thank you. Yes. Yes. Say it. <laughs> say it. I got my make people say it mirror badge, and I'm really good at it. I'm really charming. <laughs> I left a trail of blood and tears as my coworkers gathered around to see what was wrong. I'm washing the wound in the sink, and my coworkers tell me I should go to the hospital. I call my mom, and she comes to pick me up. While I'm bleeding over the sink, my manager goes, you can still close, right? No. I look at her dumbfounded and say- He was talking about her hand. <laughs> You didn't cut any tendons, right? You can still close? She says, uh, I look at her dumbfounded and say, do you see what's happening right now? And she says, we only have two closers. You can't leave. I said, there was just a knife in my hand. Oh, fuck. I'm going to urgent care. She goes into the office pissed and doesn't fill out any accident. My manager says, but if you leave, I have to stay late. (laughs) Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Can you call and get somebody to switch shifts with you? (laughs) It's on you to find somebody to switch shifts. The kicker, I didn't quit. I walked back into work two days later with a swollen hand and an updated tetanus shot. I worked until the pandemic ended. And now I'm a high school teacher. It's and hopefully I never stab over. myself at work again. Very, Yeah, hopefully you do not you do not stab yourself at work while working. I'm just stabbing other people at work. <laughs> I have a story. Really quick. You're fine. I mean, you can cut this if you want, because I'm going to tell Joshua about the restaurant. We should probably get it off the air. <sighs> it will dox us entirely. No, it will not. I'm yes, it will. I don't think it'll be that hard to find it. There's only one restaurant. One of these. We'll tell you after the pod. All right. Sorry, listeners. I get the... Yeah, I get the Erica exclusive stories. How about that? It's juicy gossip It is as hot well. gas. Is it one I haven't heard? Yes. Just happened yesterday. I haven't heard it. Can I please just tell it? Fine. Can you do it in a way that doesn't dox us? Yes. Okay. I'm this, gonna need this, you to bleep it though. This counts towards this counts towards the number of stories you've read. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna bleep pizza. I'm gonna hut. have to bleep a lot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do this. Horrible place. Horrible. 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 Fucking place. Sucks. Piece of shit. All the health inspectors hated him. Not not that his restaurant like was dirty or whatever. He just was an asshole. He's just a piece of shit. It's also just like not the best food. 
Like it's fine. Never eaten there. I've only eaten there once, and I was like, I've ate there once fine. too. Never eaten there because I hate this man. Anyway, there's a shooting. Okay. At the restaurant. At the restaurant. What? Yeah. <laughs> How did I hear about this? Yeah. I guess I am right now. So, it, shooting at the restaurant, you know, everybody's freaking out, whatever. Come to find out later, it is an accidental shooting. Okay. Which okay. kind? The owner of the restaurant shot himself in the leg. Wonderful. I'm in a group chat with like my old health inspector friends, and they're Just like, breaking oh. Breaking HIPAA. How, this is not shut up. <laughs> no, the owner broke his. They're HIPAA. like, oh, I wonder. You know, I wonder who got shot. I wonder if it was. And I was like, one can only fucking hope. Yeah, is in the group chat. No. Oh. <laughs> Turns out he it was him. And okay. Shot himself in the femoral artery. Oh wow. Got life lighted or whatever to a trauma center. That sucks. And now he's in a, a medically induced coma on life support. Wow. I mean, he'll... shot himself in the leg. Wow. In his own restaurant. It does seem wild to be playing with guns in your own restaurant. <laughs> I don't... From what I've heard through the grapevine, it was more of a, like, they were going... It was him and his brother, the one holding the gun, and then it went off or something, but they were in the process of, like, doing a sale of the, the, of the weapon, oh. which doesn't sound legal to me, but I don't know. If you Well, if you scrape off the serial number right, with right, the right. file, it's legal. Sure. But yeah, I was he like, got a oh deal though. My to, gosh, to buy the gun with ammo already in it. That's a, probably he probably got it for free. <laughs> that's a deal. I think I think he was the one selling it, not buying Oopsies. it. Oopsies! Well, he should have sold it a little bit quicker. Well, he was like, "Hey, just go ahead and make sure there's no ammo left over in there. I don't want to. Ammo's expensive." To be fair, I don't know if that's like the legit thing that happened. Right, but he shot that. himself in the leg. Okay. Hit his femoral artery. Now he might die. It's somewhere on the inside of your thigh, like yeah. on the, this part. Yeah, that's crazy. That's the little thing you can kind of feel it like in here. I got a big thing I can feel down there. I have poor circulation and my femoral <laughs> artery is, looks like a celery stock. It's great. <laughs> Last Dranginous. one. Isn't that wild though? Insane. Yeah. Absolutely wild. Bleep all of that. You want me to bleep the last like three minutes? No. Editor? You, because you can't hear high pitched noises very well and it's way too loud. Incorrect, I... actually. He hears only high pitched noises. <laughs> that is true. But also, I don't know how. Anytime I do high pitched noises on this podcast, I. The last one where people were like, it was so fucking loud. I had it turned down by negative 40 dB. Because I use that sometimes too, that same file. And it feels like it's so loud, and it's like it's so quiet on that thing. And yeah. then you listen to it; it's like ah, we gotta get a new sound. Yeah, we need to find like a good like, like uh, we should just do the turkey gobble. Okay, <laughs> let's just do turkey gobble for swears from now on. Okay, that way whenever somebody swears just blah, blah, or not swears or whatever, we need to cut. Okay, that's smart. Cause yeah, I have it turned down so far, and people are like, oh, it's so hard on my ears. Yeah. It's like it's negative forty dB. That's like 400 times quieter than it should be. It's just the frequency of the noise is just piercing. Yeah. This is from Sal. <gasps> Sal? Yeah. Fake name. I'll never get over this. Ina. Hmm. This is from Sal. I can see there being a lot of takes on this. This is a Reddit story. So, Am I the asshole for not adopting my dying best friend's dog and buying a puppy from a breeder instead? Oh! Is the dog kind of shitty? Uh, My best friend is dying of cancer. He could pass away any moment. Today I was visiting and I showed him a picture of the German Shepherd puppy I just put a security deposit on. It will be ready to take home in four weeks. I've always wanted a German Shepherd puppy, so I was excited to show him the pictures. And thought I maybe the pictures would bring him at least a moment of joy, even if the moment was fleeting. Most selfish thing to do. Hey, you remember how you're not going to be able to have your dog anymore? You're dying? Look at this new dog I got. But instead of sharing my excitement, things became awkward. Merp. After a few minutes of awkwardness, I asked him what was wrong. I was blindsided by it. <laughs> I was blindsided by his response. He said that his cousin, who was supposed to take his two-year-old pug named Horace, could no longer take him. What a great name for a, a great, pug. Uh, great name for a pug. Yeah. Better name for a hurricane? That is a good hurricane name. 
he, his cousin could no longer take him, and I could save a lot of money by taking his dog. I looked over at Horace. He looked back at me. Well, he tried to look at me, but he's got one wandering eye that pretty much is always looking towards the ceiling. Every pug does. I could feel his glare with his good eye, though. <laughs> Horace is not a good dog. This is not me being an asshole. This is simply me knowing Horace. He's a little shit, and on top of that, he shits in the house. He tears stuff up. He's always yapping. He's always wanting something. He doesn't even know what he wants. He literally just wants to want something. Nonstop. He was never pop- properly trained or properly trained. Overall, I'm not a fan of the pug dog breed. Their faces look like it's been hit with a shovel, but it's really cute shovel. That is the cutest shovel it could be hit with. They are always gasping for air with their bu- eyes bulged out as if they are stranded without a space helmet in the Martian atmosphere. I told my friend, no, thank you, but I will try to help you find him a good home. Really? He says, are you fucking kidding me? You've known Horace since he was a puppy. I know that's you can change him. I know that's why I don't want him. He's just not a good dog. Wow. You are such an asshole. So am I? Tee tee hee. The asshole. Uh, for the way that you're going about it, I think yes. I think that's what I think too. Yeah. I don't think you're an asshole for not taking the dog. Like that's within your rights, sure. But the way that you're saying, like your dog fucking sucks. Yeah. I mean, it definitely got escalated really quick out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. Because like, the dude had already put in a deposit, which yes. w- without knowing that taking Horus was even a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was sprung on him post a deposit and a deposit on a a puppy German shepherd, I assume purebred, not gonna be cheap. Yeah. No. Also, you don't get your deposit back when he's just like, Oh, you could save money if you just take my dog, and it's like no, the no, money's I'm already money. gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but to respond for the friend to respond negatively and for him to be like, Your dog sucks to a dying man, be like, You did a bad job on the thing that you love unconditionally. Yep. <laughs> Like, all pugs suck a little bit. That's what makes them cute. <laughs> yeah. That's what all all little dogs suck. There's something about a little dog. Luis is going to be so offended by this. But, like, slash paws suck. You know what I mean? Like, there's something about a little dog that's, like, like they either yap or they fucking bite when they don't look at you, when you don't look at them right, or, like, they kind of, I don't know. But they're, they're so goddamn shit. cute. They're and you kind of allow them to be little shits sometimes, you know? It's I've kinda, never had a little dog, so I don't. It know. would fucking change us. I've only met one little dog that I like, and it, I'm like half tempted to get a Yorkie now. Is that dog still alive? No, that dog dead. But it was the best Yorkie I've ever seen. Hmm. It was like the nicest, most well behaved dog I've ever met. Like better than other dogs, and it's just like I've never met a Yorkie like you. What about Pee Wee? Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee's he jacks real off in up. movie theaters. No, it's your grandma's dog. No. It's your uncle's dog. Oh, I do love Pee Wee. You guys e. have multiple dogs named E. T. is your grandma's dog. P. T. is my grandma's dog. I can oh, understand. Stands for f- perfect traveler. His legs are like backwards. How is he a perfect traveler? He's a very inefficient traveler. You can fit him in the overhead bin. Technically, he's P. T. number two. The imperfect Are we going to do that with our dogs? Are we just going to name all of our dogs Max? No. Max, too. M2X. <laughs> no. Uh, now, need story time. I've been into Mio. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Grow up, drink regular water like a grown ass adult. I, I feel like, I feel like, no, I feel like Mio is old person. <laughs> I feel like my mom. I, f- I have sugar free Walmart brand Mio. And it's, it's great. It's so good. It's so good. Don't knock it until you try it. I've tried it. When? Don't think Last it's that time. great. I don't know, like a year ago. Oh, okay. A year ago? Who was giving you Mio? But did you never went through, did you ever go through like a seltzer phase? No. Yeah, see, I, I transitioned into like the sparkling water phase. I don't like sparkling water. You got to get used to it. You have to get used to it. And then now. That's what they said about beer too, and I you, have never gotten used you to you it. You've tried two beers and you you're like, I'll never. Beer. Are you fucking you kidding me? You take a sip of beer now. You have to, you have to really grind through the yeah. first I don't know, 100 beers. <laughs> yeah, you have to get drunk off beer like 20 times before you're like, okay, I can tolerate no. it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying you have to. I, if you don't want to drink beer, it's fine. But oh, Mio? But, but Mio, I can't. No, you say have it. to try it. You Mio, you do yeah. have to try it. You want to try Mio this? Out of here. 
<laughs> this is this is Mio. No, I don't want to fucking try it's Mio it. Tequila. It's Mio plus pre workout plus tequila. It's great. I'll make your hair stand on end. Grape? Grape Mio. Absolutely oh. fucking not. And it's grape and Who goji berry. I got it today. I got grape today. I want a sip of that. And it's goji berry pre workout. No. Okay, and then first last... of all, grape flavored thing. The grape and cherry are the two worst flavors. You have, Erica. This is exactly this we've is... talked about this before. When Erica doesn't like food, it's because she has like a preconceived like this is what it needs to taste like, and when it doesn't match that, you go, "This is bad." Perfect example: um, muffins. Continue. Muffins, yeah. My brain thinks it's going to be a <laughs> cupcake, I'm... and it's bread. <laughs> I'm just pr- cupcakes, bread. I'm just proving Christian's point. <laughs> But it's the same with cherry and grape flavor. It's not supposed to taste like the fruit. A cherry or a grape, right? It's okay, supposed well, to be it like, tastes like fucking cough syrup, I, and it's disgusting. I can agree with cherry. A lot of cherry syrups. A lot of cherry stuff's bad, yeah. It's bad. But grape, you're absolutely out of your fucking gourd. No. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the, the goji berry's doing a lot of lifting in this. But It feels like a melted like um popsicle with tequila in it. <laughs> Uh, one last little Josh story. I almost got arrested today. Ooh! Because you stole the Mio from Walmart? I didn't steal a Mio from Walmart. <gasps> Joshua, you little so rapscallion. So today was, uh, it was fucking busy at Walmart today. I so gro- you said, I'm going to steal. We were grocery shopping, <laughs> and uh, uh, I went to go, and like there was like, a line forming at the self-checkouts on like three of them, but then one of them just had nobody at it, and I was like, okay. So I just go there. And then, for whatever reason, all of the lines shifted to where we went. So there's, like, three families, like, right behind us with, like, full carts just breathing down our neck. So we're, like, trying to go, right? We're just scanning whatever. We get to the bananas. Bananas, you have to scale and then, then weigh them. Or scan, then weigh them. And it's based off of the pound or whatever. And I scan it, and it just says, error, uh, balance doesn't work or something like that. And so I was like, that's weird. Clicked OK. Scanned it again. Put it on the balance. I was like, error, balance doesn't work. And so I was like, whatever. I just put it in the bag. Everybody saw me steal them. Nobody said a fucking word. They kept their fucking lips tight. Okay. Yeah. Then, <laughs> later, I'm Aurora was bagging. I'm scanning. And she was trying to open a bag. So I had a, a thing of beef broth here. And I put it down. And I'm like waiting for her. And she gets it. And I go to put it in the bag. And I guess I forgot to scan it. Uh, the last thing that I scanned was like, 16 ounce fbp or something and i was like i guess that's beef yeah stocker i don't know whatever uh the thing goes off and it's like warning assistance needed and i was like i didn't scan alcohol what's this and so somebody comes over and they're like that's i was like i don't know what happened they click on it and it says on the screen it says potential missed missed item missed scan and it shows a video and it shows a video and i'm like oh it's gonna be the bananas (laughs) and so like i'm like i like whispered or i was like and then and then I it, it looks and it shows the video of me putting the beef in mm-hmm. and I was like oh, stop getting the bananas <laughs> and I was like I was like is 16 and this was an honest mistake I was like is the 16 ounce not this and she's like I don't think so and we scanned it and then it wasn't I was like oh I'm so sorry there's a completely honest mistake and they're like sure. no problem whatever we just scanning no big deal scan a couple more items big yellow exclamation parks come up on the screen and it says like uh check needed or something like that i was like what so i just keep going and then eventually i'm just, i scanned like five items and then it popped up again and it was like you cannot scan more wait for assistance and then somebody comes up and they're like are you buying alcohol or medicine and i was like no it's because a, a bathing suit that aurora bought it needed an assistant like somebody come over and like confirm that it was the right suit i guess i don't know but they had to come over and check the items. I thought we were getting bagged for the bananas again. <laughs> and so we're like sweating bullets over a dollar and eight cents bananas. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm spending like $160 on groceries. And I'm like, I'm going to get fucking arrested for a dollar of bananas. It did that to me one day. I was, it was also on produce. And I had like, this, it was a similar situation. I had two things in my hand. I went to scan it. I set it down so I could like do something else. And it yes. thought that I was like not scanning the item. Yeah. But you can see in the video that it played back on the screen that I didn't fucking, I didn't attempt to steal yeah, it. Right. Fuck you, Walmart. 
Fuck you. Don't use stupid fucking cameras. Get real employees to catch me stealing, you fuckers. It was just so funny. I was, like, sweating bullets. I'm like, I'm going to get fucking arrested for... <laughs> make for great podcast content. It would make great. Oh, you my get God. for stealing if a I, banana. We have to record the podcast over your one and loud call. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I don't know. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's the episode. That's all we got. A lot hey, of plugs tonight. quick. Uh, uh, quick. Uh, Facebook. No, no. The one that we don't have. Ah, I'm, I'm panicking. That sucks. So oh, no. Much. Judgy's uh, pod. Judgy's pod at gmail.com for. Fuck me. I'm all flustered. Judgy's pod on Instagram, all social medias Twitter, Twitch, Patreon, Judges YouTube. You. Yep. As Google it. It's in the description as well. Thanks for listening, everybody. Sorry that we're all Trumpers. Incorrect. Have <laughs> a great week, everyone. And don't forget, the judges love you. Hugs and pisses. Hugs and pisses. I'm going to fucking lose it.